Two men have been arrested for two shooting incidents this weekend in Bismarck. One of them has now been formally charged. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kevin Stanfield. 19-year-old Vernon Pook has been charged with seven counts of reckless endangerment and theft of property. The judge has set his bond at $200,000 cash, and he can have the state senators and tribal leaders met today in Newtown with the director of the FBI. Now, this is James Comey's first visit to the Fort Berthold Reservation. He met with law enforcement officials, and they told him about their needs on tribal land. Well, the search is over for the two men who escaped yesterday from the Missouri River Correctional Center in Bismarck. Devin Wynn and Three Feathers Morin were to both taken into custody after Bismarck police received a tip that the two were staying at the Budget Inn. The two were arrested and are now at the state penitentiary. Motorcycle safety is a big issue this time of year, and we have two stories that are going to drive that point home. A motorcyclist missed a curve six miles north of Wilson on Highway 83 earlier today and went into the median. He was not wearing a helmet at the time and was severely injured. We'll have more information on that story as it becomes available. Also today in Emmons County, 54-year-old Judith Alamaris from New Rockford was riding on her motorcycle. She became distracted by road construction and nearly ran into the back of another motorcycle. She lost control of her motorcycle, had to lay it down, and injured her hand and leg. Coal mine operators in North Dakota are looking for better ways to reclaim the land they use. They're now investing in a new study, and our energy reporter Alyssa Dickert is here in the studio to tell us more about that. Alyssa. The bee population in the U.S. was once around 6 million, but today those numbers have dropped to just 2.5 million. Scientists are blaming beekeepers themselves for not doing a good job of looking after their bees, but here in North Dakota, keepers have been pretty vigilant. That makes us the number one honey-producing state in the nation, and it doesn't hurt that the bees here love alfalfa.